Hey guys, Rufflington here, and I am here with my very first redstone contraption video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a automatic smelter with indicator lights. Um, it's very simple to make. Uh, I wanted to start off simple with my first one. Um, so this does need the 1.5 update, uh, 13W04 or something. One of the snapshots for that brings in hoppers and fixes them all. And uh, I think it's 04A or B or one of those two. Not entirely sure. But before I get into it, um, there are some weird things with the texture pack right now. I'm gonna have to find out a fix. But um, yeah, I'll figure it out. So. The way you build this is, well, I'm actually going to explain it to you first. So, you put in the thing about a smelt on top here, and you put in coal here, and it puts the coal in, and it puts the thing you want to smelt in. I already have some coal in there. Um, I'll get some more stacks, fine. And you can see that it starts pulling it out. <coughs> And then I can, if I get a stack of cobblestone, I can also put that in there, and it pulls it out, puts it straight in. Wait a second. Oh yeah. Why did it? What happened to the coal? sure what happened to that coal. Did I take it out? I might have. But anyway, um, so it's very simple to make. Um, I'll kind of make it and then I'll kind of show you how it works and like why it works afterwards. So here we go. So as you can see, it makes a very small fo footprint. It's only five back, five back, by th five by three. I tried to condense it as much as possible with the way I did it. Um, I tried condensing it a little more, but just messed with the hoppers, so did not work. But so you start with like a little entrance way, kind of, and you put redstone repeat or redstone repeaters lamps on there, there, and then you put a block here with a chest. Then you go to the back. You go two back. Redstone comparator, redstone repeater, one and one tick, and then a block with block, block, uh, block, and block. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And then you go above the uh, chest is a uh, hopper furnace another hopper right there and right here and then two chests like that and then you run some redstone up here actually yeah right yes just like this Except this one, you need to make a repeater. I'll explain that later, because it's just kind of um, some hopper logic or whatever. Um, yeah, that is it. So, I'll just kind of show you if you put something in here. It turns on the lights. No pistons or anything. It's really cool. It's silent. Um, I'll actually I'm gonna do this just for OCD sick. So the way this works is the new comparator not yeah, comparator, um, it takes redstone signals from any block that can hold items. And if you have an item in there, it sends out a signal um, with a one strength pulse. That's why I have this repeater here. To strengthen the signal. I strengthen the signal, go into this block and then it powers the redstone line. Um, I have this repeater here instead of a redstone, just a redstone, because then it would, if I had redstone, it would power this block, which would cause this hopper to stop working. I'll kind of, I'll just show you that. Uh, if I put uh, that there, get some coal out. I put a coal in. Um, if you put that in there, it, oops. Smelt stone. So when 
this is finished smelting, smelting, it will um, not go down the hopper block because this power block block is powered. See, it stays there; it does not go into the hopper. But when I change this to a repeater, it goes into the chest. So, very simple, very compact, as compact as I can make it. Um, so, I know these are kind of out of the way, but I made something over here, and you can actually, you need to make, take a one block difference between the two, um, for it to work, so, it's, it, do, it doesn't take, doesn't take up too much space, but, you know, you could, you could put one here, and then you could also put one here, and you could continue this as far as you wanted to go and it would not mess with anything so yeah it's compact and easy to make it doesn't take up very many resources either it doesn't take a piston or sticky piston or anything like that and I have something over here that I made just kind of showing it this was a previous version before I compacted it down so there's a three block gap but the way pretty much easiest way to get up just kind of make a path behind it and use the access to the chests. So, yeah, that's pretty much. You can make like a storage room or smelting room or something like that. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, it's amazing. It would be amazing if you leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more redstone contraptions. I will probably be making redstone doors and a bunch of different things. Um, the redstone update really want, makes, made me want to make more. I have a little daylight sensor that keeps it day. If you notice, uh, let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, it sets time to 2000, which would, keeps it always day. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because it's very simple. Um, if you saw my, uh, my Snapchat video, you should know how it works. Anyway, that is all, and uh, I will see you guys next time.